Good afternoon, it's the Crafty Nana. Um, I'm just finishing off a last few bits and pieces and getting started on my next project. So, um, these have been a little bit more difficult to frame up because they're much longer and thinner and to find a frame that was the right proportions was quite difficult. Um, I have marbled the frame, um, I have cut the film to fit it um, and I've just put a line around the bugs just to bring them out, just sorting out this one. Then when these are finished, I'm, my next thing is to start some 3D ones. Now these frames are recessed, so you have a back and then you hot glue the gun the glass in and then there's a, a, a space between um between the backing and the glass so you can actually make a three-dimensional um piece inside it so i'm wanting to make some 3d bugs now this was a pink frame um and i had some lovely pink marble paper that i'd done so i'm thinking that whatever bug this is going to be is going to be on this pink it's going to look amazing um so that's what i'm up to now First things first, I'll get this one done and get it finished and then that's all the order from uh, my customer all put together. I've just had a little tiny bit of gold dust to the frame just so that it just has a little bit of warmth to it. Um, I have cut out the marbled pink paper. I can actually just see now as I lift it up towards the camera that I need to put some glue in underneath there. But this is our backing board. Okay, so I think this is the bug that I'm going to do. And although it doesn't look very likely, but this is the bug I'm going to use to transform into that bug. Um, I'm going to cut it, I'm going to reform it with clay, I'm going to change it around until it, that looks like that. Um, and this should be quite fun to do. So it took a little while to choose, but I think that's where I'm going. Okay. is coming along. There's less patterns on the wings on the bug that I've got in the picture but the thing is I actually quite like the um, little bit of extra on it just because it makes it look more alive and more interesting. I'm just going to take a little bit of this yellow here because the top edge of the wings have got a little orange touch to them, but I think the orange on its own is going to be a little bit too much. So I'm just going to water it down with a bit of yellow. So let's see if we get the colour we want. Yeah, that's about it. So I'm just going to do this outside edge of these wings up here. It's just got a little touch of orange just at these top edges here where it comes off the torso. So, just touch that in, touch that in. Now, whilst I'm doing that, this is also the same colour that we have across the top of the, um, as it gets sort of redder as it comes down. So I'm just going to blend that in. And I think once this is done, we'll give this a coat of shine as well. I might even put some metallic eyeshadow over this part as well. Right, all of those have got to dry now before all those colours have got to dry now before I can um, put anything else onto them. Um, I can't put the wings on or finish any of the colours up until those are dry. Because anything I touch is going to get spoiled so we've got his wings here we've got his body redone we're going to make him some antennae 
with this wire. Um, as I said, we might move his front leg positions, but apart from that, he is turning out to be very similar to his little friend here, so we're very happy with that. So this is crafting wire, which tends to keep its shape quite easily, whatever, you, it's very soft, very soft, very bendy, very easy to use. So this is what we're going to use for his antennae, and they are definitely quite long, but we have got to fit him into a box, so we can't go so long that they, that they go outside the box, but I think that's fine. So obviously I need two, more or less the same length. Two antennae. Now the thing is, we actually could do with them to have little don't even know if this is possible, but we can try. Now these again should be black just to make life more difficult. Legs, so we've got the hot glue on, okay. So I'm going to chop these off at the knee. Okay. It's not perfect, but it's a lot closer. Ooh, ooh. To what we had. I'm going to put a little bit more glue in there so it fills up that elbow area. When we paint it black, you won't even notice. I'm hoping. So I just do that. It doesn't take very long for hot glue to dry, that's for sure. Let that dry out and then we'll put the antennae on. I want to get the front legs in the right position before I put the antennae on because I think it's quite important. So now the next thing would be to, I think I might have got these too long but we'll see. Get a generous amount of glue on here. Turn around here. Oh my god, he's cute. We might actually have to make those a bit shorter to get into the frame. But let's have a look. Yeah, I think we might have to, but he's cute. He is cute. We'll touch up the, the glue with the black paint. Okay, so luckily green happens to be one of my favourite colours. So I've got some fabulous green eyeshadows. So this one is really deep and glossy. Um, I bet it can't, you can't really see it in the pot. Let me put some onto my skin so you can see. Oh, look at that. Wow, it's so sparkly. And then I've got um, this one, which I think is just a tad darker. Let's have a look. Less green. Yeah, it's just, just a touch darker. Um, and then, as well as that, I've also got this amazing one here, 
Let's clean my brush off a little bit. This is um, really high mica, high sparkle, coppery, bronzy colour. And I've got another one here, which I'd probably put underneath it, which is a slightly darker copper. Um, I've also got my Versace. Oops. No, oh, yes. Ooh, come on, open. Come on, Versace. I've got a nice metallic gold here. Not too sparkly, but just to give it a bit of a shimmer. Okay, so he should be dry enough now for this. So what we're going to do is, I think we're going to use that darker green first in this area here. Oh yes. Oh yeah. And then go brighter green as we go back to here. Yes. Then that's the same green I'm going to put on his head. Yeah. Absolutely fabulous. Then I want to take, I'm going to get the green off my brush. Let's put the green away. I want to take some of this gold. Use it to blend the two shades, the orange and the and the yellow together. That's nice. I want a bit more of the goldy orange down here. Then I want to move on to this sparkly ready. Okay, so this is what we wanted it to look like. This is what it looks like. This is how it started out. So it's gone from this to this and it matches this. Let's get it in its frame. Okay, so I think I've got this little chap in his box now. Um, he really does look very different to how he was when he started. Come from that to that. Um, and I'm liking the idea. I'm hoping the next one comes out even better. Or 